Now, foreign ministers from the countries of India, Australia, Japan and the United States jointly met in Tokyo over the Quad Forum. Ahead of this dialogue, Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar held a bilateral with U.S. counterpart Antony Blinken, where both leaders spoke extensively on bolstering coordination and collectively committed to promote a free, open and prosperous Indo-Pacific. At a press address directly following this Quad Foreign Minister's meeting, Jashankar mentioned that the Security Forum now serves an expansive agenda, stating that Quad was now deeply and systemically embedded in each nation's foreign policy. Of note was the announcement that a space-based climate warning system will be soon be launched from Mauritius as part of Quad cooperation. Earlier in his opening statement at the Quad meeting, S. Jashankar cautioned that these are not easy times terming this new era as one of re-globalization. These are not easy times. A major challenge is to ensure global economic growth while also de-risking it. In a sense, we are in the midst of a re-globalization. At the same time, it is only our collective endeavors that can prove the international system against disruptions man-made or natural. It is only our collaboration that can ensure that the Indo-Pacific remains free, remains open, stable, secure, and prosperous. Our meeting should send a clear message that the Quad is here to stay, here to do, and here to grow. Representatives from the four nations also spoke exhaustively on larger issues such as telecommunications, undersea cable technology, humanitarian and disaster relief, cyber security, healthcare, maritime awareness, STEM education and countering terrorism. Also big on the agenda were discussions surrounding West Asia, Ukraine and the South China Sea. A bilateral between Blinken and Ray Shankar was held ahead of the Quad meeting and Blinken was accompanied by the Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asian Affairs, Don Lu, and State Department spokesperson, Matthew Miller. The Secretary of State underscored the importance of realizing a just and enduring peace for Ukraine in accordance to the UN Charter. This ahead of a planned visit by the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, just next month. According to reports, the key topics discussed in the bilateral between India and U.S. also included the deteriorating situation in West Asia, along with the conflict in Ukraine. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Russia, which coincided with the NATO summit in Washington earlier this month, left the U.S. and its allies a bit wary of India's foreign policy outreach. Last week, at a congressional hearing, Don Lu expressed disappointment over the symbolism and timing of the Indian Prime Minister's visit to Russia. New Delhi, however, rejected Lu's comments and asserted that all countries have the freedom of choice in a multipolar world. Now, it remains to be seen how both sides respond to Prime Minister Modi's upcoming visit to Ukraine next month. This will be the Indian Prime Minister's first visit to the country since war began in Ukraine in 2022 blinken along with u.s secretary of state pardon me u.s secretary of defense lloyd austin are scheduled to depart for manila in the evening where a two plus two bilateral will be held with their filipino counterparts this as the biden administration seeks to counter an increasingly bold china for all the latest news download the vion app and subscribe to our youtube channel